Journey Through Parenthood with Martina Bills. Brought to you by Southern Ohio Medical Center. Very good things are happening here. Good Wednesday morning, everyone. I'm Martina Bills. Thanks for joining us here on the WSAZ Now Desk for Journey Through Parenthood. Well, it is the month of August, and August is designated as National Breastfeeding Month. So we're talking a little bit about the benefits for both baby and mom when a woman chooses to breastfeed. The first milk that comes in on the first couple days of life is called colostrum, and it's jam-packed full of um, antibodies and protein and nutrients for the baby um, that help protect the baby from viruses and um, infections. And it also um, helps our digestive system to work well like it's supposed to. A mother um, to continue breastfeeding for the maximum benefit for that child. Usually it's um, six months is the recommended, but as long as the baby wants to is what they um, recommend. Okay. Okay, Summer, talk about when a woman does um, breastfeed their child, what are the benefits, health benefits for that mother? The women who breastfeed, um, it reduces the risk of developing type 2 diabetes, um, some breast cancers and ovarian cancers, also helps with high blood pressure. Um, it can also um, just help mom with time and uh, money. Um, you know, nighttime feedings are stressful, um, and getting up to make a bottle and warming up throughout the night is a lot in a mom. So just um, being able to, you know, grab baby and put baby to breast throughout the night is a lot easier on mom. Mm -hmm. And, you know, formula is expensive these days, and sometimes it's not even available. We've had the pandemic and all the stuff with the formula shortage here in the last year. How can someone actually support a breastfeeding mother, whether it's the partner or a family member? Um, what is the easiest way that they can offer that support, especially when you have a newborn baby, everything has changed in your world, whether it's your first or fourth. Um, talk a little bit about that support system. Yeah, so just Supporting the mom and her decision to breastfeed is one of the big things. Um, keeping comments to yourself is always a good one. Um, but, you know, if someone wants to help, you know, always someone's like, call me if you need something. Well, you know, offer to come do laundry for the mom. Bring meals. Um, if she has other children, offer to take the kids for a few hours just to give her some extra rest and bonding time with that baby. Who's breastfeeding and when they go back to work, um, you know, pumping is also uh, changes the game even more. Um, talk about how someone can offer support to a breastfeeding mother in the workplace. The main thing is to offer a clean private space for the mom to express milk. That's not a restroom um, and also giving her those breaks to breast the pump um, because a baby normally nurses, you know, every two to three hours. So we need to at least be giving a mom a break every three hours to do that pumping session. Mm -hmm. Okay, what about the maternity um, center at Cabell Huntington? How do you guys support uh, breastfeeding mothers, um, whether it's at the hospital when they first have that child or after they've left the hospital and answering questions? Yeah, so we have over 30 nurses that are black patient certified in the hospital as long as we have a few um, IBLC, IBCLCs um, in the hospital as well. Our lactation consultant, she rounds on all the new moms who choose to breastfeed and sees how they're doing. But there's also those nurses who are working um, regular shifts throughout night and day that do have that certification that they can help with breastfeeding. So a lot of good detailed information from Summer Waugh at Cabell Huntington Hospital. And you know, breastfeeding is oftentimes um, something that can be difficult for some people. Sometimes it does come easier for some women as for others. And sometimes babies have trouble latching on. And one of the comments that um, Summer made during that story was keep the comments to yourself. Whether you d agree or disagree with a woman's decision to breastfeed or not to breastfeed, um, a really helpful 
hint for all mothers, whether they've just had a baby, whether that's their first child or their second or third, is to keep those comments to yourself because that is technically a woman's decision um, in the long run. And there are so many benefits to breastfeeding. Um, you know, keeping the baby healthy with all the nutrients that the breast milk provides to that newborn, but also really does benefit the mother from a health standpoint. So here on Journey Through Parenthood, if you ever want to reach out to me, you can find me on social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. You can always reach out to me and send me a story idea. Or if you have, um, you know, just something you would like to share about something you've seen here on Journey Through Parenthood, never hesitate to reach out. And Journey Through Parenthood is here on the WSAZ Now Desk every Monday and Wednesday at 10 o'clock. We'll see you back here on Monday.